Hey, this is Professor Triblet, and in this video we're going to go over the basics of lofting using curves in Maya. Alright, so to start off we have to make a curve. I'm going to go ahead and go into one of my uh, side profile views. Front will be fine. And I'm going to just go ahead and pull out uh, my CV curve, which um, they actually pulled it off of the shelf here, and here's the CV curve tool right here. It's a, basically the same as the EP curve tool, except for you're putting down the control verts uh, and seeing them right away. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Uh, so let's go ahead and I'm going to pull the options out too, so I can see what how this is uh, working. So by default, it, it should be set to three cubic. Um, so that means three points will go down, and it'll curve between them. Okay, so you can see right there, so I'm actually laying down the, the CV points and and then it's uh, it's averaging between them. Okay, so there's a good example of the CV curve. Um, like I said, the EP works very similar, it's just that you're actually clicking down where the curve is going to go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit W to drop that active tool and then let's go ahead and get back to our perspective view and I'm going to turn off my grid for right now. Okay, so I'm going to hit Control D and duplicate this. I'm going to drag it out a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and hold Shift and select the first one and now that I have these two selected I'm going to turn my uh, loft tool on. Now this is the loft tool but I like to have my settings open so I know what it's going to do for me. So it's actually the first one in the list in surfaces. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on this and it popped up off of my screen. So here we go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just reset the tool and make sure that yep, it's, a, it's factory reset. Alright, so if I hit apply, you see what happens here. So um, Maya goes ahead and puts a surface in between these two uh, these two edges or these two nerves, and this is really important because there's sometimes uh, shapes that are very hard to achieve with just doing your um, average poly modeling, and the curves just allow you to to do some stuff that that would be. Uh, more challenging, but you can change this right into a polygon. So let me show you what happens here. If I move this off to the side, you can see my my original curves are still here. Okay, so that's that's good. Um, this surface was was made, but it's it's a separate object and it's not necessarily tied to these. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to grab these again. So grab uh, one and then shift select the next one. And I can change this right into a polygon if I want to by going into uh, these settings here. Now when I'm doing something like this, I usually use general and quads um, because uh, for this one I can have really good control with this. Um, basically my U-type is going to be how many segments I'm going to allow uh, in the polygonal mesh going along this edge. And then the V-type is going to be um, how many um, segments basically connecting the two uh, different edges. So in other words, watch this. If I go ahead and just hit 2 here and hit 4 here and hit apply, you're going to see it's going to look like really, really um, basic and, and low resolution. But what's happened is you got 1, 2, 3, 4 in the U direction and then you have 1, 2 in the V direction. So, uh, of course, we want it to look better than that. So let's go ahead and just take a guess and say maybe 30. Um, that might be too high, but it depends on what you're doing. And hit apply. So now you can see adding 30 edges in there um, allows this nice smooth surface to, to be created. Uh, and then this is polygons. So uh, if we're doing polyg polygonal modeling, which most of the quarter, or I should say semester, will be polygonal modeling, um, this is something that we can use. So, all right, so that's just the beginning of lofting. We're going to go into a, a little more advanced lofting um, in the next tutorial, but uh, I just want to kind of give a, an intro to it and kind of show what it is. 
Before I stop, I'm going to show one more thing. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this again. Control D. I'm going to move it over here. And then I'm going to move this down. Oh, you see that? Look at that. Well, guess what? Um, these things are still having history uh, attached to them. So if we don't want these to move when we move these curves here, then what we need to do is delete the history. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can just come to the poly modeling and click on this button right here. That'll delete the history. You can select this one, do the same thing. And now when I move this, you can see nothing's happening because the history that was connecting these two things are, is gone. Um, but I'm still not done now. And what I wanted to show was that um, if I go ahead and have three of these, let's just bring it like that, I can actually select the first one, shift select the second one, shift select the third one, and I can go ahead and loft these as well. Now let's go ahead and change this back to NURBS and hit apply. So you can see it's, uh, if it's black on top like that and you want it reversed, just go to surfaces and reverse direction and then it'll put the black on the bottom basically. It's just reversing the surface. So you can see that you can attach more than one uh, curve uh, with a surface using this technique. Um, and the order of which you select these is critical. So in other words, if I went ahead and selected this one, then shift select this and then select the middle one and hit apply, you can see it does a totally different thing. Um, which looks kind of funny, but um, not really exactly what we're going for. Um, and let's just show one more thing. I'm going to do the keep it the way it is, and now I'm going to hit close, and look what just happened. So maybe in some case you want it to go all the way around like that and close up. And so you can get some really interesting um, shapes this way. So in the next video, we'll get into some more advanced lofting options.